this is the video tutorial for Blue Book Exercise uh, 4 in the 2015-16 ICW um, exercises and workbook. Uh, so we're going to start this citation. It's a parallel citation problem. We're going to start this the same way we always do. We'll start with the case name, move on to um, case location, and then close out with court and date. So with regard to the case name, we're told that the case uh, that the parties are Weston Securities Corporation and others versus Ara Iconian and others. So we know from Rule 10.2.1a that we only include the first listed party on each side, and so we know that we'll include Weston Securities Corporation, and then we won't include the words and others because those refer to additional parties. And then we'll give the last name of party number two, uh, but not the first name because 1021G tells us to omit um, given names and include only surnames. And then, of course, uh, we delete and others just like we did with the first party name. So that's what we're left with after we omit everything that the rules require us to omit. The next step we're going to take is to abbreviate anything that the rules tell us to abbreviate. Weston is not in table six, but securities and corporation are, so we're going to abbreviate those. With securities, we don't use a plural abbreviation because T6 tells us that SEC period is the abbreviation for both the singular and the plural of security. So SEC represents securities just as it does security. That's different from the situation, for example, that we have with products. The word product is in T6, but products is not. And so to get the abbreviation for products, plural, the instructions for T6 tell us that we add an S to that abbreviation. But that's not the case with securities because it tells us that SEC stands for both the singular and the plural. The abbreviation for corporation in T6 is C-O-R-P period. Okay, and so there is our case name. We'll italicize that. Now we're going to move on to case location. This is the part that gets uh, a little bit more challenging in this exercise because you have to determine whether or not to include parallel citations to the case, meaning citations to multiple published versions of the opinion. So we're told that there are two versions. There's, or not two versions rather, but two printings. One is in the Massachusetts Appeals Court Reports and the other is in Northeastern Reporter. If we were not giving parallel citations, we would cite to Northeastern Reporter because if we're only gonna cite one reporter, it's generally the regional reporter. However, this is a brief, or the citation rather occurs in a brief that's going to be filed with the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court, and this is a Massachusetts case. So because it's a Massachusetts case being cited to a Massachusetts court, we're going to include both the regional reporter and the state reporter because it's possible that this court, when it goes to look up the opinion, let's assume the theory is that, that they look it up in print, even though we know they probably look it up online, but the theory is that a Massachusetts court may only have the state Massachusetts reporter. They might not have Northeastern reporter because they don't need all of the states that are in Northeastern reporter. They may only need Massachusetts cases. So they may have either the Massachusetts appeals court reports or they might have both Massachusetts appeals court reports and Northeastern reporter. So we're going to include both of those to give the court the option to look up whichever one they think is most appropriate. So we start with Massachusetts Appeals Court Reports because we give the state reporter first. We're going to turn to the Massachusetts section of T1. And I say we're gonna do that. And then I realize that I laid my blue book down somewhere odd. Okay, so we're going to turn to the Massachusetts section of T1. Remember that in T1, you'll find all of the jurisdictions starting with federal, 
and then moving on to the states in alphabetical order. So we turn to Massachusetts, and we see that the abbreviation for the Massachusetts Appeals Court Reports under, appeal, under the Appeals Court is Mass App Court. So we'll give the volume number, 46, the abbreviation that we see there. Notice that there are spaces between the abbreviated words because there are all abbreviations longer than a single capital letter. So 46, Mass App Court, page 72. And then it tells you that it's also published in the Regional Reporter, Northeastern Reporter. So then we'll give the volume number of Northeastern Reporter, 703. And then the abbreviation we see here again in T1 in the Massachusetts section that the abbreviation for Northeastern Reporter second series is N period E period 2D. Again, because those are single capital letters in an ordinal, you don't space between them. Now you give the page number of Northeastern Reporter. Okay, so the problem also tells you that you want to direct your reader's attention to specific material. It tells you that the material is found on page 74 of the Massachusetts Appeals Court Report and 1187 of Northeastern Reporter. So let's add in that pinpoint now for the Mass Massachusetts Appellate Court Reporter. And now let's add it in for Northeastern Reporter. And so there you go. You've got two citations, one to the state reporter, one to the regional reporter, both of them containing a pinpoint. Now we're going to give our court and date parenthetical. The court abbreviation for the Massachusetts Appellate Court is Mass App Court, and then the year of decision is 1998. Now, the rules for reporters and court and date information tell us that if you can tell the name of the court or the abbreviation for the court from the reporter name, you don't need to include it in the parenthetical. Here, you'll see that the, if you look in T1 for Massachusetts, you'll see that the only court whose decisions are published in Massachusetts Appeals Court reports are the Appeals Court of Massachusetts. And so a citation to that reporter could only be from the Massachusetts Appeals Court, which means that we don't need to repeat that information in the court and date parenthetical. So all we need is the date information, 1998, and then we've completed our citation.